hello everyone this is Uzwal Twitex here and in this today video I will be discussing about input and output operations in Python so let's get started so in Python we have this operation going on in the computer so the Python whatever we write in the program and with the, the data that we give to Python program is the input then the computer processes that input using some logic and then it gives some output so we have the input process output cycle we in the shorthand notation we call it ipo cycle and this is the working of a computer or we say how a computer processes a typical program which involves input and output so let's jump back to program so let me write so let me type a is equal to 10 and let me type b is equal to 20 I have created two variables the first one is a is equal to 10 the second one is b is equal to 20 this this is the way in which we assign variables such as in maths we have x y z a b c d anything so the same case is here in python also we have different types of variables we have integers strings integers are used for integer values look we have strings are used for storing sentences or string or words and load values are used for storing decimal numbers but we are storing an integer value in a so we have got the data type as integer so i have given i have written two variables a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and let me run this program so let me clear this out and let me again run this program so that you can see see we have got nothing we have got nothing from this program means we have given data to the program means we have entered the value a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 we have get a given data to the program means suppose if you want to prepare juice you have given you have put apple into the juicer but you have not kept glass downside of it to collect the juice then what will happen uh, juice will be prepared but you will get no juice to drink for yourself so just like this we have given the input but we have not received the output so to receive the output we will say print whatever we want to print so in this case if i want to print hello then i'll write g l l o hello and let me run this so we have hello here so i have printed hello but let me print those variables a and b so to print variables i'll write print a and print b and let me run this so we have got hello for this command print we have got 10 for printing a we have got 20 for printing b similarly if i want to print uh, the addition of both then i'll write a plus b as we have seen in earlier classes about operators what do operators do so if I run this, look, we have hello for this command, 10 for print a, sorry, and 20 for b, we have, and 30 for a plus b, a plus b is equal to 30, we have here, yeah. so a plus b will result into 30, but as we have seen, this is not always the case, we are not going, we are not always going to calculate 10 plus 20 we want some other values also so if i would like to enter 100 then i'll manually change from the program and i'll run it but what if i want the user to input input the value of a so for this i'll type int int here refers to the that the value of input that we are going to give from the program the the input that we will give to the program will be an integer value so a will store an integer value now let's take an input so to get take input we will write input this is the syntax of taking input and let, let me run this command run this one so we have hello 100 20 no 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 this was the output of earlier program sorry we have run the program but we have not got nothing why we have not we have got nothing because the program is running from this client and it is asking for an input so to give an input so this looks very bad 
if I if a message would have been printed here that enter uh, enter any value then it will be nice so let me terminate this program and let me type here enter any value and let me run this program again yes so what is the error didn't import enter a value Add this again a is equal to and input and let me run this. So we have got enter a value one minute so we have got enter a value means now this one is being printed here so now it is more clearer to us that we are uh, needed to enter a typical value of a so let me type a is equal to 8 and let me hit enter then b is equal to 20 has been assigned inside the computer it doesn't matter to us and then this command has been started which prints hello to the console window then print a which prints 8 in this case the value that i have entered has been assigned to a look here the value that we enter that that means 8 has been assigned to a and the print function will invoke the value of a which in my case is 8 similarly for b it, it is equal to 20 so it has printed out 20 and for a plus b is equal to 20 plus 8 is equal to 28 Similarly, if I want the value of B to be taken from the keyword, so I'll write int input. You will have to learn this basic syntax. And if I want nothing to be displayed on the console window, then I'll write nothing. But I want a message to appear. So I'll write enter, 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 uh, and other value. So let me run this command and run this program and see. We have enter a value. Let me write 20. Then enter another value. That means this is being prompted here. Whatever we write in this double quotation, it will be prompted out here. And you should never forget that whatever is present inside this is written inside a double inverted comma. So to print masses on the console window, you will have to use this double inverted comma so let me type the value of a b is equal to 20 and let's see so the next pro the next command is this print hello so it has been invoked then print a will print 20 since we have stored 20 into a and print b will also again print 20 because we have stored 20 into b and print a plus b will print 40 since we have stored 20 and 20 both in a and b and 20 plus 20 is equal to 40 so these are the basics input and output cycle that we have studied in python but there are more input and output processes that we can do so if i want to take integer the this program has um, displayed a typical example of taking integers from the keyword but what if i want to take uh, string values from the user so for this all right let's see z is equal to no, m is equal to the value that we are going to take is a string type so we do not need to declare the type so i will directly write input but what if it will have been integer so i will write integer but in my case i am going to take an string input so i will write input only i will not declare the type data because for a string the, it is not required to declare the type so i will write e and enter In our name okay n is equal to p u t input enter your mother's name okay and 
let's run this comma run this program so we have enter value for a so i'll give 15 enter value for b i'll give 20 and now after running this it has oh sorry i have made a mistake here i haven't uh, used double equal to so let me run this program again because it will surely say on error so let's remove this let's run this program again okay let me give a value of 15 to a 20 to b and let me type the name use ajwl as well dx mother's name Unam. let's hit enter so oh we have seen that i have given the value as well to text i have given the value to num to mother's name but in this case the values were being printed out right but what is in this case the value are not being printed so to print the value i'll type print to print my name i'll type n because my name has been stored into the variable oh sorry to print name i'll type m because my name has been stored into the variable m and to print mother's name i'll type print n because mother's name has been stored into the variable n then let me run this program again i'll give the value 50 to a and 60 to b enter your name twitx is my username and p o n a m let's hit enter usual to text has been printed because after taking the value of this input into m i have invoked a command name print m so it will print the m and in my case we have stored my name into the variable m so it has printed out usual to text and for in n we have stored my mother's name so it will display punam on the console window now what if i want to display your name is Ujwal and your mother name is Unam Singh in this way in a fancy way so to do this all right print and as i have already seen if you want to display a text message to the console you will write in inside double inverted comma so i'll write your name is and to your name is and I want to display whatever I have given to the whatever I have stored here to the variable m. So to print out the result of the variable uh, to print out m, I will type simply type oh sorry outside the double inverted word or inverted comma because m is not an uh, string, it is a type of variable. So plus m. I have used plus because in my case m is storing an string value and this is also a string value so to join two strings we use the plus symbol in and in this case it is known as can concatenation symbol and so it will print your name is m let me run this command to see what is the output okay, let's take into a and 90 to b what is your name and x you see your name is oh sorry i need to give space here so your name is space uh, for time let me remove this next let me run this program again so what is your name okay my name p o o n a m and if I hit enter, see we have got your name is usual tweet x. What the plus symbol only joining these two strings? Your name is and this usual tweet x. The main functionality of this plus string is to join these both strings. And if it is used in the case of variables, that means integer variables, then it will simply add those two variables. But if it is used in case of a string, then it will concatenate both strings. So, and let me print my mother's name. Print my 
other's name is and similarly in this case also I'll write plus and in my case my mother's name has been stored into the variable n so I'll write n and let me run this program so your name uh, your name is Ujwal to text and your mother's name is Poonam as it was in that case it is in this case if I remove the space between here then also there is no problem but in this case if I want to display it into a fancy way I'll need to give space because this space counts but but if I give space here then this space doesn't count the spaces are counted only in case of string but not in case of variable so if I press and run it again then again we have got the same output because as I have already shown uh, as I already told you that in case of those spaces are not counted but in the case of this the spaces are counted so but what if I want to print my name and my mother's name in the same line to do this I'll write print uh, your name is and I'll use concatenation symbol and then again I'll use the concatenation symbol and I'll type here and your not your mother's name is again I'll use concatenation symbol and print uh, and and and, and uh, here I should print M. Let me run this program. So it has asked me about my was uh, my name. So it is printed out. Your name is Ujwal and your mother's name is Poonam Singh. And we have used this double plus symbol because. In this case, a string was present only on one side of the variable. But in this case, a string is present in two sides of the variable. So, to attach it in the middle, we have used both side plus plus or concatenation symbol. But in this case, a string is present in only one side of this variable. So, we have used only one plus symbol. And one more, uh, one more way to do this is, it is more fancy way. Print your but it is optional your name is i'll write here the curly braces and leave it this and your again i'll grip curly braces and i'll after the inverted comma double i will write dot format and what values i want to give here so if I want to print here my name, so I will have to give the variable m. So I'll write here m. And if I want to print here my the name of my mother, so I, I as I stored the value in this n, so I'll write here. Not there. I'll write here n. And what the format will do? It will just take these two values m and n. It will first put the value m into here. In this bracket and the value of n in here in the second one and as we see that the value of m is my name and the value of n will be my mother's name so your name is n the value of n will be my name my so my name will be displayed here and your mother's name is the value of n which is my in my case is mother's name so my mother's name will be displayed here. so it is a bit easier than this one using the can contact nation symbol so i have shown you this example all right i use it as well sorry 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 uh, i have to write in this console window as well see your name is usual your and your mother's name is punam 
this command has been this has been printed out because of this command and this will print as you've seen this command is printing out this line your name is usual and your mother's name is this uh, you can differentiate from this one i have used the uh, apostrophe symbol here so this i've used but in this one apostrophe symbol has not been printed and here also i'm not giving it so you can differentiate between those in this one so these are the types of input and output uh, these are the ways to give input and output to your commands so i would like you to give you two assignments so i would like you to give the first assignment first uh, first ign first assignment first assignment will be take in input from user and cal calculate area of a triangle you can use the formula area is equal to 1 divided by 2 into base into side and you will give the base will be taken from the keyboard and the height will be taken from the keyboard by the user or you may say the height will be given by the user as i have seen shown you how to take input from the user during the runtime and the base value will be taken from the user during the runtime as i have already shown and the second one is uh, calculate area of a circle is circle by taking users input so you will take input from user and the input will be the radius of the circle and you will use the formula area is equal to 22 divided by 7 into r and for we have area of triangle circle is equal to pi r square so r square for exponentiation i will use double asterisk and two and this will calculate the area so in this case you will take two inputs from the user the base and the height and in this case you will take only one user input from the user and that will be the radius of the circle so we have completed uh, all the input and output operations that uh, we need for the basic programming and for complex programming i will be doing the, those concepts later because you will understand more if you will practice so <clears throat> and other live tutorials i will be showing how to take complex input from the uh, users so this one's for this video and please like the video if you will uh, please hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you want to continue with us Thanks and thanks. Have a nice day.